All right, so we're in the car. I've got a lead on a big Lego collection. I think it's about 40 to 50 pounds of loose Lego plus three Star Wars sets that I think are a pretty good bargain. So we're gonna spend a decent amount of money here on this one. My girls are over here saying, hey, say hi girls. Hi. They're going on this adventure with me. You can see we're all bundled up. It's pretty cold outside. We got a good, I don't know, a couple inches of snow this morning. Two hour delay for the girls at school, but uh, we are excited to give this collection a shot. We're gonna spend a decent chunk of our thousand dollars right off the bat, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the sets are in good shape. Hopefully the figs are there. We'll find out in just a few minutes. All right guys, I am back in the apartment. This is our Lego haul. We spent $250 on this. My daughters are already going through it. So this is the first part of the collection here. The lighting in here is terrible. But we got what I believe is about 40 pounds Whoa, of loose Lego. Thing. We have, oh, that's a good start right there. I don't even know what that is. And Joby, let me see what that is. We got a cool eagle. Rawr. So we're gonna dig through all of this, but this is about 40 pounds of loose Lego with uh, what I was told by the seller are a lot of minifigs. So we'll dig through some of that. Looks like there's some city police stuff in here. Here's a lot of sets that are kind of partially built. I don't know what that is. So we're gonna dig through this. But in addition, we got three sets that I hope are complete. This is set 75055, the Imperial Star Destroyer. Can you pull that out of there? Hey, let's see if that thing is actually in there. Oh yeah, look at that. That thing is nearly complete if it's oh, not complete. Vader. Oh, Vader is in there. Dun, dun, Things are dun. always good. So that's set number one. We got two more sets to show you here. We got 75021, the Republic gunship. This is the one with the great Padme minifig with the uh, ripped shirt. So hopefully those are in there. We'll see, we'll dig through it. And this is one I'm crazy excited about. 9516 Jabba's Palace. We've already seen Jabba and we saw Ula in there too. So that's very exciting. Hopefully the rest of the figs are in there. But what I couldn't believe was she had some concerns about this Jabba set. So she actually gave us one additional set free of charge, which is 79017, the Battle of Five Armies from The Hobbit. Hopefully that's in there as well. There's your eagle. So we're going to dig through this some more and we'll update you on how this collection's looking. But we got all this for 250 bucks. More to come. All right, guys. So this is a sort of quick summary of the haul that we got in this Lego collection. You can see we got a ton of minifigures. And then this is a bunch of stuff that we got that's sort of partially built that was in this collection. There's still an unbelievable amount of loose Lego to be uh, gone through. But I was going to go through this real quick, hoping that some of you could help me figure out what some of this stuff is. Because I don't recognize some of this stuff. I know some of it is Star Wars sets and things. But uh, I was hoping in the comment section you guys could help me identify some of these sets, maybe some of these figs. So let's go through this real quick. These are the figs that we got. And I don't want to take too much time to go through all these. But if you recognize some of these figs, I know some of them are not correctly matched up with torso and leg. And I know some of these are colored on. Kids love drawing on these with Sharpies and stuff. So that's a part of the deal, but this is about 180 or so minifigures that we got in this collection. Amazing number of minifigures. And so again, the goal is to try, to try to recoup some of this $250 that we got. We started with a budget of about $1,000. 
We spent $250 on this collection. And the goal really isn't to make a profit. The goal is to sell some of this so that we can get some of our money back so that we can turn around and buy more Lego. We're going to be building a huge city in our new house. So some of these figs will help us populate the city. Some of these figs will be sold to try to recoup the money. Because again, the goal here, we're going to try to see if we can fund our Lego habit strictly by picking up collections, selling off pieces, keeping other things we think are interesting. So we're very excited about that. Those are all the figs. Help us identify some of those. And then some of this stuff we got. I haven't seen before. This is a giant fire boat of some kind. Some kind of Star Wars ship here. I don't know what this is. If anybody knows what that is, tell us in the comments. Looks like the mystery van from Scooby-Doo, although we didn't find any minifigs. This thing I thought was interesting. Don't know what that is. Some kind of squid or octopus or something. A racing boat and another vehicle. I don't know what it is. Maybe a Star Wars ship of some kind. This giant guy. Some kind of buildable figure. Hopefully he's complete. Maybe we can get some money for him. And then we've got a police car. I don't know what this thing is. Transformer or robot or something. Kind of interesting. This thing looks like it's right out of Lord of the Rings. Some kind of catapult or something. This thing I thought was interesting too. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Pit of Sarlacc or whatever it is from Jabba the Hutt in Star Wars. I don't know if that's actually what it is, but we'll check it out. Some kind of thing that kind of looks like it's from the Arctic line. And here's an interesting vehicle. I'm not sure what that is either. It kind of feels like an Indiana Jones type of deal. I'm not sure what this thing is. This is solid. There's a lot of pieces here. And then some kind of uh, city bank vehicle van. All right, guys, so that wraps it up for our what did we get in this haul. Uh, we are treating like this a business. This is my daughter, Haley, and I figured it would be fun if we did this together so that she could learn a little bit more about running a business, all the costs associated with running a business, things like that. So she's going to get a chance to do this with me. She'll help me put the sets together. She'll help me sell them on eBay and BrickLink, things like that. And... Uh, Hopefully she'll learn a little something and we'll learn a little something about whether it's possible to fund your Lego habit by scooping up collections. So do you think this was a good sale for $250 or a bad one? Right, or we're going to try and recoup our money. Do you think that we got some decent pieces here that we can sell off to try to get our $250 back? And then even maybe make some money so that we could turn the profits into some sets that would maybe good, look good in our city. Haley, can you think of any sets that we might want to put in our city that we don't have right now? Um, like um, some of those big modular buildings? Yeah, absolutely. Pet detective we don't have. What else don't we have? The garage garage thing the yeah the new garage assembly square things like that yeah. so we'll see i don't know if we can profit enough to afford one of those but uh if we can get our money back and then some plus have some pieces for our own city that would be great it's going to be a lot of fun follow our adventure here subscribe and like thanks guys